look at that carbon fiber. It's just shining today for some reason. You feel me? Look at that weave, man. That is a nice carbon fiber weave. What's going on, it's your man AMG Tran checking in with another video. And this video is a little bit, I can't even say how I feel in this video because I'm kinda, I'm kinda upset. Without, you know, making the story so long, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. I had a problem, an issue with my car, and I'm gonna upload some pictures right now. The issue that I had with my car is I was coming home yesterday and you know, I, it was a stop and go traffic. All of a sudden, I heard this loud bang like, Bop! I'm like, what was that? It sounded like a gunshot, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm looking around and I don't see anything. I looked at the windshield just to see was it a rock chip or something that hit the windshield, there was nothing. So I get out, I pull over the car and, and furthermore, we weren't going remotely fast enough for something to hit my car at any type of velocity or maybe it was going maybe 10 miles an hour so i pull over because i'm like man what was that and i look all over the car and i don't see anything nothing don't see anything with the car i get in the car go home when i get to the house you know car was a little dirty so i'm like look let me let me just try to wash the car off a little bit rinse it off as i'm wiping the roof of my car i feel this like really rough spot so i'm thinking like Man, this car is really dirty. It shouldn't be this dirty. I just got the car, you know, cleaned up and everything. I remove it and I look under the, and I rub with my hand. I'm like, ow, what's going on with this? So I look close and I'm like, oh my God, my roof is cracked. Like, I cannot believe that my roof is cracked on my car. The reason why I couldn't see it when I pulled over is because literally there's, I mean, the car is black and there was no glass missing. There was, you know, normally when you get your windshield hit or any type of glass for that matter, if it stays in place, there's like a point of impact. So maybe a, a chip out of it and then it spiders around it and goes out. There was none of that. And um, I can upload some pictures again to show you. There's no signs of um, any type of situation like that. So it kind of surprised me. Now the, the, the real, the real icing on the cake of the situation is literally the night before and this is no joke the night before my wife drives a g80 so i come home and she tells me hey there's a recall on the car and i'm like well, okay what type of recall she's like well the panoramic roof some people are um saying that their panoramic roofs are literally shattering while they're driving and i was like hmm that's weird so she's just like yeah they're gonna you know replace it and this that and the other I was like, okay, well, I guess you just make the appointment and everything. I said, man, it's good. I hope that never happens to me. And literally the next, not even 24 hours, this is like eight o'clock when she tells me that, not even 24 hours, the, the, the exact thing happens to my car. Even going to this, like, I don't want to file an insurance claim, but I may have to file an insurance claim to get this fixed. Um, I'm just like shocked that this happened to the car, like, this is a this is a big deal guys like i just cannot believe that this happened so we're about to go to the dealership like i said get this straightened out and um you know i'll pick back up when i get to the dealership hey what's up man? how you doing man? doing good what's going on today? doing great i wish i didn't have to come here man <laughs> I want you to look at this car, right? I don't want you to tell me what's wrong with it. Look up top. You see anything wrong around the hood or anything? Nothing, right? So I was driving home for work. I was in rush hour traffic yesterday. And all of a sudden, I hear this loud bang. So I pull over off the exit. And um, I notice when I get, I notice the whole thing is shattered. Whole thing is shattered. Now I was looking for a rock. Some I looked to see if it was gonna rock that hit the car or something like that. But I wasn't driving no more than ten miles an hour when I was in rush hour. But I don't see anywhere where a rock hit it or anything like that. Like I don't see it. Period. Okay. All right, gang. So as you guys could have probably guessed that yes, 
Mercedes is not covering it. The, the big takeaway is that a rock must have hit it and I just didn't see it. And since it's gotten hot over the past couple of days, it just must have expanded and kind of blew up. They can't do anything. So this is gonna be up to Mercedes USA to figure out a solution. At this point, I'm just concerned with the safety of the whole thing because if anybody knows how tempered glass reacts, it breaks up into little bitty pieces. So if you ever seen a side window broken out, somebody ever broken your car, it breaks up into little bitty pieces and, and that's just in case you get in an accident, you won't have like pain glass, for instance, that breaks up into big shards and could potentially cut your juggler if you get hit on the side. So we don't want that. Um, and also it's probably not laminated uh, for the simple fact that in the event of an accident, your only exit or chance of survival may be through the window itself. As far as the roof, I mean, if you were in a car anyway, you wouldn't be able to get out of the roof. So I would much rather have the roof laminated. The roof should be laminated glass. You wouldn't be able to get out of the car anyway. So uh, especially if you just had a car with no sunroof or no panoramic roof, you wouldn't be able to do it regardless. So, uh, but anyway, guys, like I said, this was just gonna be a short video. Um, I did have to pay. The part of being in 10 days, um, they don't have any loaner cars, of course, so I'll have to wait until Monday. So they'll put me on a loaner car Monday and we can get this resolved and go from there. I mean, man, I'm, I'm just saying, it, it just sucks. I'm gonna be honest with you, it really does suck, man. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that little piece, that little glass, to get it replaced was like 1500 bucks so one thing that if if i were you i would check and i did get a ppi and there wasn't no crack on there so um unless it happened i mean who looks at the roof of their car first of all so unless it happened um maybe like a hair line or a nick or something happened i don't know but whatever it was it shattered the whole daggone thing and it, it just sucks that that happened like i can't believe that happened but outside of that guys if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and like the video. If you haven't, please, please guys, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more great, great content. I'll keep you guys posted on what happens with this and hopefully I get a, a good looking, you know, learner car. It's probably gonna be like a C class or E class. Um, hopefully it's something with the new display in it. I would love to drive that for a couple of days just to see what it's like. Um, as you guys can see, Man, this is a beautiful sunny day out here in Birmingham. Yes, and, and fun fact, and fun fact, I actually, when my car was in there, I actually um, saw uh, Nick Saban's, this is Nick Saban's dealership. So if you guys don't know this one and the one in Nashville, these are Nick Saban's dealerships. And his car was actually in here for service. If you guys have ever experienced anything like this, leave a comment down below. Let me know what type of make and what model car and what you were doing when it happened. Like, I'm interested just to see if this has happened to anybody else. Like, I, I just, I just, oh my God. I just don't, like, I don't understand. Like, maybe if this has happened to other people before, it's kind of like, oh man, get over it. It happens. But I'm, I've never seen this happen before. And like I said, guys, when it happened, I wish that I was a daily vlogger, but with work and everything, um, you know, at, at some point, guys, if we can like these videos and, and subscribe, you know, I can get to the point where I can daily vlog and I can catch stuff like that when it happens. But, um, but yeah, man, like I just, oh, for the life of me, I just don't understand. It literally sounded like a gunshot when it happened. Like I, and I didn't know what it was. I really didn't. But yes, guys. Like I said, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell because, you know, that's how you guys get notified when I put a video out. Notification gang, you know what I'm saying? So let's make sure we get that uh, going out. And yeah, peace out.